Hey guys, Bentley here again with 30 Minute Fisherman. <clears throat> guys, just want to give a little quick tip today. Don't want to take long at all. I want to talk about, you know, a lot of times this time of year and even going into winter, a good pattern that I found a long time ago, you find isolated brush piles, um, you know, isolated cover per se, you know, say a brush pile, let's say a, a, a tree sitting out by itself, a bush sitting off, you know, by itself, um, you know, and it could be at the end of a point, something like that, a little bit fairly deeper watered. I mean, the water depth is just going to depend on the, the area that you're in, okay? But you want it to, like I said, be sitting off by itself, isolated, you know, brush pile, isolated tree, whatever and this time of year what you can do and you can catch some good ones doing this is you take your little this is a little strike king bitsy bug jig been around forever they make the bitsy bug they make the bitsy flip the difference between the two is the bitsy flip has a little bit beefier hook so if you think you're going to be catching some really big fish, and if you want to use a little bit heavier line, then you know, beef up, go ahead and get the Bitsy flip. And they come in an eighth of an ounce, quarter of an ounce, possibly even a three sixteenth. But I I only ever use the eighth or the quarter ounce. And what you want to do this time of year is you want to stick a big trailer on there. If you can see that, I got a big old chigger crawl on the back of this one, you know. Um and there's other there's other trailers you could use too. I just you know, but again, what you want to do is you want to have a big meal for these fish. And the thing is, what you want to do with this jig is you want to take it, you want to throw it right up in that brush pile, that treetop, whatever it is, this isolated, you know, but throw this thing right up in it. And you know, and let it fall. You know, like I've talked about before, you know, you throw it up there, even let some slack line out. You want the thing to fall straight down in there. I know you, some of you guys are probably saying, man, that's crazy. You're going to get hung up. Not necessarily. Remember, it's a weedless jig. You know, you got a weed guard on this thing. Okay. <clears throat> but, you know, let it fall down through there. But the thing is, like I said, I typically only use the eighth ounce. And it's the heaviest that I'm going to go. And I think it's the heavier size in this in this particular jig is a quarter of an ounce but typically I find myself using eighth of an ounce and sometimes you can even get a sixteenth of an ounce in these little jigs too and the thing is you know when you throw this thing in there and you put that big trailer on the back it's gonna fall down on there real slow real slow and this goes for a lot of things that light weight even though you think it's gonna get hung up that light weight is gonna fall hit those limbs, whatever, and kind of slide off of them, slide down in there, whatever you're throwing up into. But it doesn't go crashing down in there like a heavier bait and get stuck and get hung up. You know, that lighter weight will actually keep it from getting pinned down in there on something and things such as that. And then what you want to do is you want to be using um, fluorocarbon line, okay, or, or braid, possibly even braid, because this is all about feel and sensitivity. You know, so you throw this little small jig up into that cover, let it fall down through there. You literally want to feel it hitting branches, hitting that uh, tree trunk, uh, limbs, branches, whatever, going through that brush. Same thing when you pick it up. Literally, a lot of times I can feel this thing come over a branch, a limb, and, and then I let it fall, and, and so on and so forth. And that's when you're going to get that that hard strike, that thump, that nice thump, and then you're just reeling that fish and set back. Now, again, something else to think about. Like I said at the beginning, especially with this jig, this little Bitsy flip the Strike King makes, or the Bitsy, Bitsy jig, excuse me. <clears throat> you know, this little Bitsy jig, like I said, it comes with more of a finesse type of hook, okay, a lighter wire hook. So you don't necessarily want to reel down and... and yank as hard as you can with a real stiff rod and that fluorocarbon line of braid because you, you may end up straightening this little hook out. 
Now, again, if you throw in that Bitsy flip, you can set a little bit harder. But you really don't need to set it that hard. You know, you can more or less reel down, reel into them, and just pull into the fish, and you should be fine. The main thing is, again, because that fish is in that deep cover, you know, get their head up and get them coming to you. You just don't want them to burrow back down in there, bury back down in that cover. But guys, I'm telling you, you know, this little finesse jig, big trailer, you know, you, you can catch some big ones doing this from now right on through in the winter. <clears throat> so once again, guys, this is Brantley with 30 Minute Fisherman. You know, again, a little quick tip, you know, like I said, eighth of an ounce, possibly even sixteenth of an ounce, no more than a quarter of an ounce, you know, small jig, big trailer. So guys, give this tip a shot. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with the results. Remember to get out here and enjoy the great outdoors that the Lord has given us. And remember, this is the day that the Lord has made to so make the best of it, guys, no matter what. And tight lines, God bless, and I'm out.